everybody, this is Praxis and I'm here on site. Today I've been working on finishing up the root cellar. It's pretty much there. If you look behind you, the door is there. It's got a handle. There's one thing that it's missing, and I'll just show you right over here, is uh, I wanted to have some kind of a locking mechanism, like a hasp or something here. I bought one through Amazon. It got delivered. It was a 5-inch hasp, and in putting it up here, I think it really needs to be 7 inches so I can really get the screws down into some real wood instead of just this 3-quarter uh, you know, inch board. At the moment, I'm using just this stick to hold things. This is going to be secure for animals, but for people, I'd like to have a locking hasp at some point. But I can show you what's going on on the inside. One thing I do have left to do is uh, I want to put uh, insulating material on the back of this door. At the moment, actually, there's cracks that go right through it. I'm going to get some, you know, one-inch foam. I'd like to just do it out of, out of scrap because, um, you know, nice to use scrap for things but uh, uh, at the moment I, I, don't, I don't think I have a ton of uh, ton of scrap for that let's go inside and I'll show you kind of what's going on in there I'm gonna have to pick you up here we'll try to make this nice and gentle if you're going through here all right that was that was reasonably gentle I hope right there uh, yeah so we're inside and the inside is pretty much all set as well. I brought this, this rack in here. I'm starting to use it for food since uh, the place is animal safe at the moment. Uh, got some uh, potatoes and onions. The storage uh, space at the place we're staying at temporarily is not really all that great. The basement has a boiler and all the heating systems and everything. So the basement at that place doesn't really stay very cool. And cool is kind of what you want for, you know, storing food. So I thought I could store some of our oversupply here to try to make it last a little bit longer than it does in a, in a warmer environment. Things like, you know, again, potatoes, onions, apples, things of that nature. So we've got a functional green uh, root cellar at this point. And uh, once we get a lock on the door, it'll be secure from all types of animals, including humans. Good news today, the plumbers finished their rough plumbing work, so I'm able to start doing the electrical work. Uh, the one issue with that is I'd really love to do the electrical work with my dad, because he knows a lot about that stuff. I mean, I've done it enough before, but it's nice to work together. Plus, sometimes you have one person kind of feeding wire, and the other person pulling wire. It's kind of a two-person thing, ideally. Uh, and I'm kind of down to one person because of the coronavirus situation. My dad is in the demographic that could very reasonably die from getting it, uh, and I, uh, I'm not, I don't have the level of assurance that I'm not a carrier at this point, because I you know, keep having to interact with people that might possibly be carriers themselves, and it's hard to go like you know, two weeks, which is kind of like the outside incubation period. I know it can go even longer than that, but you know, it's hard for me even to go two weeks without having some possibility for contamination of myself. And, uh, you know, while there's a lot of people online, uh, young people that are like licking toilet seats to try to get coronavirus so they can kill their parents and grandparents, I actually like my parents and I don't really have any reason to want to kill them. Even if I didn't like them, I don't think I'd want to go killing them. I just, I'm not a murderer. <laughs> so, like, I guess you can't say that of, of so at least some other people in our culture. But, uh, yeah, I'm not interested in killing my parents. So. You know, uh, I can't accept their help at the moment because it just it wouldn't be safe for us to be, you know, working in proximity to each other. Uh, but things are slowly going, you know, piece at a time. Uh, you know, even with just you know one one person. So root cellar done. Next, I'm gonna be working on the shed, getting the uh, kind of the template laid out. Uh, so when my lumber was destroyed, finally gets delivered, and they're still not able to give me an answer on that. When the lumber does get delivered, I can start working on that, and I guess I can start working on electrical too. So I've got some more options now than I did a couple of days ago, when it was really only just root cellar, and that was pretty much all I could work on. That's it. Thanks for watching.